Hey, welcome everybody. Welcome to the show. How are you? Yeah, hi. We were uh, attacked earlier, but we're back up and running now. Here we go. We are up and running. Hi, everyone. Let's get the uh, show on the road. We're going to reboot. Dave is making pop tarts in the toaster. Yeah, kind of. No, not really. Um, the camera was just hiding back there. I'm just going to move it forward if that's okay with you. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. Uh, we're Today we're going to be making uh, gorgonzola beef patties. Gorgonzola. Gorgonzola. Beef patties, yeah. So we're looking at two for... Uh, 557 minus 30 percent, so that's about a dollar 70 off of 557. Now under, yeah, right around four dollars. Right under that, like 380. Hey, no, they're not. They're you know what they do is they make these things at my local uh, meat provider with ground beef that they have extra, and I just thought you know. I'm try it, and Sarah liked it, so I bought a couple more. We'll play it. We'll cook them up tonight for you. Yeah, I don't pay five hundred dollars an hour. No, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. We have to remove you from the show, sir. You're, you don't qualify as a, a chatter. Yeah, you got to be nice in here. You can't just come in here and act like you're a psychotic watching me. <laughs> I thank you, Tom, for offering. It, no, it, it has gorgonzola, che gorgonzola cheese in it. Let me get my name off of there. Now, I don't know if you guys have been to my YouTube site, but I've been busy working on all kinds of stuff today. I did a great EMF show. You can check out the dangers of EMF radiation and how to create a Faraday cage for $1 or less than $1. Yeah, so uh, Gorgonzola, Gorgonzola, not Gordonzola. Hello, my name is Gorgonzola. Gorgonzola cheese, and these are, uh, we're going to go with Gorgonzola beef patties, uh, sweet potato, potato, and Brussels. We're looking at eight bucks. No, $7 for two. <laughs> yeah, prices are going up a little bit here. We're going into the, I know the, I'm not gonna mess with the camera because it works for Sarah. Yeah. Yeah, I heard YouTube's banning a lot of people. Well, I just made a, a, a really interesting EMF show. If, if they're gonna ban my entire cooking show, that would be a mistake. But, hey, it, it's happened before. People have done that before. Uh, you know, talking about EMF radiation uh, is important because everyone is getting a big blast of it when they're near their head, right near their head. So you have to be aware. And I just made a very simple Faraday cage, and it worked great. It really pulls off 97% of the radiation. Now, you can fit this into three people, if, and I'll show you how to do this, just for your record. Yeah. You, you, you basically cut a, a corner of, of each of these off right there. And then you serve that portion to that one person and this portion to a third person. Yeah, so if you want to do it that way, you can do it that way. Uh, so let's make this three, okay? Because seven bucks for two people just doesn't sound like, you know, because the meat was about four bucks. Now the Brussels sprouts are a little bit different. Uh, yeah, I buy these in bulk. Yeah, I buy these in bulk in gorgonzola beef patties with sweet potato. If you have the ability to uh, get good quality food, yeah, I'm going to put a roll on this one, I think. I'm sorry, potato is spelled incorrectly. Ah. 
Thank you for checking. Hang on, I've got a, I've got a jet flying over. The sound of freedom. I'm sure there's at least three or four states right now that are suing, being sued by Trump over the uh, count. It's just terrible. Uh, the, the rigging that went on by the Democrats is blatant, outright blatant. It's just beyond belief. They didn't even try to hide it. It's just beyond belief. Whew. Okay, we're going to go into Periscope. Get that show going. Yeah, it's pretty nice to get things rolling. I'm going to cook some water first. That's my first order of business. So, the light on here. I'm going to put filtered water in the sink there. I hope none of you have a have to go to the bathroom. That could cause it could trigger immediate urination by watching that. Okay, that's about all you need to, to really steam boil something, like one quarter of the pan, maybe one third if we've got a lot of stuff to cook. Okay, that's about all you need to, to really steam boil something, like one quarter of the pan, maybe one third if we've got a lot of stuff to cook. And everything I say is not repeated, so don't worry. This is the ATP Daily Show, technology, cooking, 5G, pandemic, And I guess I'm going to just do voter fraud. Or no, ballot fraud, ballot rigging. I'm just going to put ballot count, ba ballot count, count counts, ballot count. Okay. Today is 11.5. And this gets the Periscope show going so people can see the whole thing. I better just go with ballots because that ballot count might not be a word. Okay. Plandemic isn't a word technically, so hey, there you go. Now, I'm not going to be able to view the broadcast chat over there at Periscope, so if you are chatting, don't worry. It, Plandemic it, isn't a word technically, so hey, there you go. Nothing to worry about there. No, I'm not going to be able to view the broadcast. Thanks. Now, entering another dimension here. A hacker gained control over the entire fleet of Teslas, but fortunately he's a good guy. Well, that's good. That was last week's news. Yeah, you're going to get a link right now, man. I'm always there with a link. You know that. Anyway, a lot of good stuff. Uh, the EMF video came out great. 38 minutes of me talking about the radiation from microwaves. And we're talking about field radiation, not like radiation like uranium, like half-life and decay. I got a big big thing like that for $4.99. Amazingly cheap. So out of this, I'm going to take one fifth, one dollar's worth of uh, Brussels sprouts, okay? Well, let's be clear. Yeah. Now, Brussels sprouts are, are great because they store in the refrigerator. Fantastic storage. They last for the winter, and that's one of the why, reasons why they're such a great winter crop. You can get a whole big bag of them and put them in uh, like a, a crisper, and they're good for the whole year, whole winter. They, like broccoli, are cruciferous vegetables, so... Okay, I'm going to put this back burner on level six and get it going really fast. Let me get this. There we go. Oh, we're being hit again. We're being attacked. Watch out. Bear in mind, we, we have been attacked during the show many times. Okay, first order of 
business. Make sure these things are cleaned off because they have dirt on, they have like little dirty pieces on them. So you have to cut those off like that. And I always go like this with a Brussels sprout. It helps them boil quicker, but we're not gonna do that today because we have virtually a, a lot of boiling to do and the potatoes are gonna be boiled. So I wouldn't worry about cutting, I wouldn't worry about cutting them in half, but do cut that little piece off the bottom. It's unsightly when you eat this stuff. And this way they're nice and tight little Brussels sprouts. They don't fall apart in the water. If you cut them up too much, they'll fall apart in the water and then you'll have like cabbage. Okay, this is enough for three people, more than enough vegetables. So we're gonna be putting red potatoes and sweet potatoes in here. Yeah, you can go ahead and throw that right in the water right now, as is. And since the water, we're not keeping the water, I'm just gonna use it. I don't really need to worry about washing these. And of course, I put a little salt in this with mineral from Himalayas, Himalayan salt. I've got the, uh, the yellow thing down really well today. So a pinch of Himalayan salt in your boiled water is good. And of course, red potatoes are so great because you don't have to peel them. That's why I buy these big bags of, uh, of non-GMO. In fact, this is it's hard to find non-GMO. In fact, we're in potato country and I can barely find this on the label. They're sneaking in a lot of GMO stuff into our area. But you can see right there, it says non-GMO on it. Yeah, genetically modified potatoes, the guy who created them, actually, they are afraid of me. Yes, me clue, that's true. Yeah, they actually, the guy who created genetically modified potatoes really unbelievably said, don't, don't make these things, you know, and he was on contract with a big farm company. He said, I don't think they're good. They're, and he tested them out. They're not good for the, he, he put them in farm animals. They didn't even like them. And that's what happens when you get GMO food. Even rats won't eat corn that's genetically modified. They've tested it out. They put two bins of barrels of, of corn out, heirloom corn, like popping corn and GMO corn. And the rats wouldn't eat any of the GMO corn. They left the building after that. <laughs> they just like split. They just ate all the heirloom corn. So rats are more intelligent than humans when it comes to eating things. They're sniffer. It tells them something's wrong here. We have this bypass mechanism where our brain like says, no, I want to eat this. I got to eat it. Yeah. And so a lifetime of GMO food is really what we're worried about. If you're having GMO food with fast food now and then, that's not a big deal. But a lifetime of that product could be dangerous. Emphasis on could. All right. A, a simple cut here is needed. And being the Brussels sprouts are kind of tight, I'm going to cut these. Uh, so they're, they're not too, you know, too small. Okay. We're just going to throw that in the pan. Boil. Now I'm not even out of boil now, I'm just putting them in there, right? And now I'm gonna use one of these sweet potatoes that are organic and non-GMO. And by the way, folks, I'm the only person on, on the internet that I know of that actively uses organic and non-GMO food. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Chef Ramsey, Mr. Ramsey doesn't talk about that ever. I don't think they're allowed to talk about it. Their sponsorship is at stake. They don't want people thinking there's better quality food out there than the average everyday food. It drives the market crazy. Now in my last video that in case you watched it, I was uh, I made a salad and a sandwich today. I had a little bow tie on, it was kind of fun. It was the same bow tie I was wearing during the EMF video. But you can check it out later. Lots of real good stuff. I'm a real trailblazer. Yes, I am. I've been uh, making uh, 
videos since 1971. So I've got more more experienced than any human being alive. And that's one of the reasons why I'm the most broadcasted in the world. Over a 12 year period, I have 35,000 hours of broadcasting under my belt. Most of them are on YouTube. So you can go to YouTube and watch me all the way back to 2008 at America's Third Party. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this uh, peeling thing and always wet the potato when you peel. It makes it a lot easier and uh, sweet potatoes tend to have kind of a weird stink to this, the outside. It's almost like uh, mildew, but it's not. It just happens to be the way they, they guard themselves as they're in the package, I guess. But I don't know. It, it's, it comes right off when you take the peeling off. There's no smell. So it's important to take the peeling off of a sweet potato. Now, with the holidays coming, these are going to be really prevalent. You can buy these for a very low cost. I'll probably buy a big sack of them for the holidays. Sarah won't eat regular potatoes. She, uh, she has this thing with nightshade plants like to tomatoes and potatoes. And she, uh, she gets inflammation in her fingers when she eats potatoes that have nightshade. So I, I don't feed her regular red potatoes. I'll feed her this probably. Most of it will go to her. Always look at the knife whenever you're cutting something. And always put a flat surface down first. Let me get a better view of this. Always put a flat surface down first and then go like that to cut something really hard like that. Same with this. That doesn't have a flat surface. When you get the flat surfaces, it's a lot easier to cut them. This is a pretty tight thing, so the Brussels sprouts will cook with, with the entire thing. Okay. All right, what I like to do is cook my burgers in a, uh, and just let that cook boil away at level six. I like to cook the burgers with A little bit of uh, onion and, and mushroom. So I'll be pulling out some organic onion and mushroom today. Which, uh, of course, you got to buy that in bulk to get a good price if you want organic. But again, folks, if you can't get organic, just get, get anything. I mean, really. I, I once made a, a dinner for a, a woman. I was on a kind of a date. And I... <laughs> I went over to her apartment and I made a, a, a really amazing, uh, incredible organic dinner. And all the food was organic. And she told me, uh, she got kind of pissed at me. She said, that's kind of, you're kind of like a, one of these people who thinks you're superior to people because you eat organic food. This is after I made her the meal. And I thought, wow, you know, Judging me for making you a really nice meal. That's that's just that tops the cake. I'm glad we met because I'm not going to talk to you anymore. You know, kind of thing. I just I split. I never you know. There was nothing there. No, no feelings. No relationship. No understanding. I'm not telling you you have to have organic food, folks. You really don't need that. Italian Johnny's here. No, you're not invisible, man. We see you. You, you, caught, you caught our eye. I'm trying to get Biden to use more cumin in his dinner. Yeah, because cumin will... Uh, I don't have a, a lot to, to kind of show you here because all my cumin is from, like, I buy in bulk. But it's a product that is, it's called the poor man's saffron because it has a unique taste and it's been known to help people with the kind of severe cerebral mental problems that Joe Biden has. You know, the guy that is trying to cheat in the election. So yeah, I, th I think it'd be great if he, uh, he tried some of that cumin. Yeah, I love cooking too. It's kind of fun. It, it helps bind your anxiety. If you ever got anxiety, not, not that I have any because I don't, but 
If you are suffering from anxiety and you're dealing with life's pressures, cooking gives you that something to do, but always look at the board. Always keep your eye on the knife. That knife could hurt you bad. You know, that's not an appropriate statement in the chat room. Unfortunately, you've been banned. You know, we haven't gotten, the they haven't even started counting the write-ins yet. So there's this big stack of write-ins in every state they haven't even gotten to. There's so much controversy about the Democrats cheating the election against Trump that they won't even get to the write-ins until probably June. So bear in mind, we've got a long wait before the entire thing collapses. All right? I know, Tom, you remind me of that every day. Let me put my potatoes back so I don't have to carry them around with me. Okay, this does call for an onion. That doesn't call for a big onion, you know, because you just want to have something to cook the, uh, the, the whole thing in, you know. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe I'll just save this part of the onion for another meal, you know. Okay. Garlic is great with patties too. So we're, we're going to use a little garlic too. Let me bring this a little bit more over here. Moreover, let's bring it over more over. Okay, there we go. We're going to get this burner right over here, uh, running on level three, the rear one. So let me position the board so it doesn't burn the board. And Jeffrey Epstein was in the show last week, and, and he, he talked about me burning the board actually two weeks ago. And I'm glad he did, because, you know, if Jeffrey Epstein hadn't faked his death and been alive to be in our chat room, I probably would have burned the board. Thank you, Jeffrey, if you're out there, man. I know you're trying to run from the law right now. But oh, no, that's right. They gave up looking for you. He could, just, he could just walk around like anybody else with a mask on after all those things he did with his women, girls. Okay, so we're going to get that pan going at level three. Actually, let's take it up to level six because I want to make some progress here. I'm going to get some mushrooms. Organic mushrooms, isn't that cool? No, I, I don't know if I'm going to give up my Costco membership or not. I'm still, you know, 60 bucks a year is a lot. Considering you can't get free samples anymore, except somebody's standing there going, Hi, buy this. Yeah, the whole, the whole appeal of uh, Costco was getting the free samples. The whole missing sample thing was just not happening. Now, I always reuse plastic bags. So the onion, the other onion I'm gonna use later in another meal. So it doesn't require more than just onion for flavor. So you brown that onion, you brown those mushrooms, and you don't have to cook them too fast, but I'm gonna cook them pretty fast. Once that pan's hot, I'll spray some oil in it. Meanwhile, that the pan back there, back here, is starting to boil. It's important that we get that boiling, roaring boil. It's going to take us all the way to the top of the hour. Normally, I would, uh, if I was in a hurry and I was making dinner in a quick, hey, Jeff, how are you? Look at you, man. You called that one, man. You saved my, my board. It was a little singed, but I, I scraped it off. You can't tell it. Just like you can't tell anybody who was abducting children on your island. It's like clean, you know, nobody's even investigated it. And how's that other island doing? Are you still working on uh, the underground building? Oh, I can't talk about that. Okay, sorry, Jeff. You know, you, if you were Trump, you'd be hopping on a helicopter right now, telling everyone to F off. Well, he's getting the raw end of this deal. I mean, the Democrats are blatantly cheating and I ran a couple tweets today, if you want to check my Twitter, at third party. 
two of them, they're, they're right there. It's like, boom, boom, I just laid it out. Factcheck.org is claiming that there was a, some sort of clerical error. That's why this whole thing happened. And then you read the article and they say the clerical error got rid of 120,000 votes for Joe Biden. No, 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 no. We have video of a guy carting in 200,000 votes into Michigan. It's, it was filmed that night at 4 a.m. in the morning. Oh, I made Jeff upset. What? Oh, I'm sorry, Jeff. Yeah. I, yeah, I know. No one wants to know that you're still alive. You're right. Then why the hell did you come in here with your name? I mean, come on. You want everyone to know you're alive. You know that. So what? You got another island. Big deal. It's all public knowledge. Yeah. Boy, we got some real weirdos at Bitwave. You guys are watching me right now. I'm sure you're just laying into me, calling me some sort of a, uh, what do you call me? Uh, you I, First, I was red-pilled. Then I'm blue-pilled. And now I'm some sort of a, a person who hates Jewish people. I like Jewish people. I really do. I just don't like Nazis. I mean, call me old-fashioned. World War II was about ending Nazis, not having them invade our government. Okay, we got a full boil there? Great. Let's get that uh, pump action going. All right. We got the atomizer. And I use safflower oil because it is naturally organic. They can't get safflower oil to work. They can't get it to, to blossom without the bees. And the bees are absolutely, uh, they die when they get around pesticides and herbicides. So consequently, they have to grow pretty clean around safflower oil. And I find it's the most durable oil and the lightest amount of, sa of saturated fat. It's got no saturated fat, of course. It's up there with extra virgin olive oil. Jeff, please, you're getting excited. Slow down, man. Don't, you don't want to work up to a lather yet before you climax, okay? It, it's almost as good as extra virgin olive oil, okay? Just remember that. Okay, we're gonna get that on the pan. And I got a sizzle, yay! Love that sizzle. Let's dice up these things. You lay the mushrooms down, face down, it's easier to cut them. It just doesn't have to be too fancy. Just throw those right in there and start grilling them with the, uh, I use my fingers, yes, to stir sometimes, especially when it's not a hot pan. You're hanging out with Hunter Biden right now? Jeff, you guys are getting off. Well, you do, you enjoy yourselves, you guys, because I, I know Hunter's been through a lot with all the current cover-ups that are going on. Tell him to hang in there. There was some weird report on Reddit that he killed himself, which is ridiculous. Tell him to love life no matter how many drugs he's taken in, in the past, really. Just love the essence of life, okay? There you go. Well, I wish my camera could pick up all the action back here. It's great. It's like an actual meal being cooked. You know, what I like to do is spray that a little bit. And I like to put a little bit of spice on this stuff. And no, we won't be using any Italian seasoning today, which is unusual. Wow, that's weird. I put my CBD oil over there. Or amber. Now, who doesn't love Lowry's? Now, these patties are not actually uh, 
salted. So we're going to give them a little Lowry's on the top. Do you see the cheese in there? They put the cheese in the mix. It's great. It really tastes good, too. Sarah loves it. Just a little sprinkle of uh, Lowry's on one side. And you can, of course, use this particular product. Cumin. And that'll help, help your memory, especially if you forgot your name was Joe Biden. Okay, now take a, a spatula like this. You got a nice grill going right here. There's not, there's no water in there, mind you. I'm keeping a dry, a dry a burn going here. Now is the perfect time to put the, the burgers in, face down. There's a very light sheen of oil in there. Cover it up and turn it down to low, or no, level three. Turn it down to level three. Okay, now you're talking. And anytime you use the board with uh, like contaminated things from the store, which I just did, you saw that, right? Oh, I'm gonna sprinkle on top of this a little salt too, after I, after I. Yeah, now's the time you can actually season both sides. So I've got a little bit of uh, this bacon seasoning I wanna use from Meow TV, he sent me a whole box of this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna use some of that on there. Just a little for taste. And everything's still boiling at a fast boil on level six. And then I can uh, talk to you guys and share what's happening in the world that we live in. So I think we're moving forward. I think I think united we stand, divided we fall. And I think the American people are finally realizing we're going to have to unite to stop these people from taking over our country. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong? The meat's good. It's good. It was a package of $5.58 minus 30%. We paid right under four bucks for that. And uh, the Brussels sprouts was a dollar. And, you know, the potatoes, I gave $2 for that but I really don't have to. But with the mushrooms and the onions, I think seven bucks covers it. Gorgonzola beef patties, sweet potato, Brussels. Yeah, for the win. You tried to put my your name on that said error cannot place vote? They did. I think they programmed the Florida uh, voter machines against any write-in voters. I understand your problems, you know, no problem. I'm glad you, you were one of the reasons why Florida went to Trump. And, you know, nobody's ever won the presidency in 90 years when they didn't win Florida. And Biden didn't win Florida. So thank you, Zeno. We're trying to stop Biden. I'm not a big Trump supporter, but I just don't want Biden to, to think he's he can cheat in the election. That's what really pees me off. Just like it upset everybody in the Republican Party. So weird. What is that? Oh, it's a plastic cover over the camera. I was like, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it time to eat again? Only eight times a day we feed you. All right. Now those patties need to cook a little bit on one side and then you got to flip them. Otherwise they're going to burn. I'm going to flip them right now. They didn't burn. The secret of this meal is to, uh, you know, I was going to do garlic, uh, crushed garlic, but you know, in the interest of being easy, I picked up this product at Walmart called organic garlic powder. You can barely read it there. Survey said. So I'm just going to sprinkle the patties with some garlic powder. Keep it simple. Now, one of the things I like to do when I make a kind of a beef patty, since it's full of saturated fat anyway, yeah, don't press down on the patty. Don't, no. If you want to cut off some of the fat, don't add cheese to the top of it like I normally do. So today I won't be adding cheese. Wow, garlic powder. It is a new product, Jeff. You can get it at Walmart. Just put your mask on. Nobody's going to know you're Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein. You're cool, man. I don't support you, but 
you know, you'll get through it. Poor guy's been being used by the Mossad for years and he's just trying to get through his life, you know. I mean, same, how's Ghislaine doing? I don't wish her well, no. She's not staying at the Metropolitan Correctional Center, is she, Jeff? I know. No, I'm not encouraging Jeffrey Epstein, nor am I encouraging Ghislaine Maxwell. I'm, I'm very neutral on the subject at this point until we, I reach the presidency. Then you'll you'll hear my real feelings. She's fine. I'm not worried about her, Jeff. I mean, you sound kind of defensive there. I'm not trying to hit on her or anything. I know you two had a little thing. I, don't be silly, David. Jeff doesn't go to Walmart himself. He sends the girls for stuff. Of course, Prince Andrew... Well, yeah, I'm sure the girls go out and do all this shopping. Well, tell them that it is available, and they're going to love the uh, the rack out there at Walmart, the organic spice rack. Sounds like I'm talking about the code or something. I'm not in favor of, of any underworld crime, but you have to understand I'm a pragmatist. I'm not going to give in to underworld crime, but I'm not going to step on their toes all over the place and try to make it my job like Bobby Kennedy to take him out. That's the problem with Bobby. He, he pretty much, he was told by his, his dad, Joe, you know, you're, you're, you're sealing your fate for you and your brother, don't you? Joe told Bobby, he said, yeah, you can't mess with the mob. You know, that's true too. But no, my goal is to actually build a, a survivable backbone to America, like a parallel economy, if you will. Something that starts to pick up the slack where we're lacking. It has nothing to do with stepping on the toes of underworld crime. We do want to stop child abuse, though. Any type of human trafficking, we have to stop. So lock down on your, on your, uh, your, your life partners, guys, because you may have a hard time accessing women. My God. But the world has become uh, really out of control, and you need a little guidance, moral guidance, and I think I can help with that. Okay, we're doing great. Uh, a good way to see if they're, you're getting done there is to take a little fork and give it a, a little poke. Everything's done. You can turn the water off. Once you feel a little softness in the, uh, in the, in the sweet potatoes, you're done. Now, the water itself will heat them and will drain the water in our sink here, which I, I put the plug in so that in the winter, I can store... You see that's holding. Yeah, in the winter I can store water in here that I drain out of the, the hot boiling water. So what it does is it heats your kitchen. This is an old trick I learned out in the outback camping with the Aborigines. And by the way, tonight I will be wearing a tie that is inspired by the Aborigines. Well, my time with the Yanomami uh, in the Brazilian rainforest, uh, I can't even remember because I never was there. But my time in, in Australia, I can't remember either because I was never there either. But I just sensed that somewhere in my previous life on Earth, I may have been hanging with some Aborigines. Well, the whole blackface thing, you know. I have Algonquin blood in my, in my ancestry now. Okay, David Sponheim. Our search did not match any news results for the last month. I believe it. Yeah, the censorship is unreal, Zena. I've been cleaned off the mainstream media. You guys are the growing new media. You're part of a new media force. Well, consider all of you, even the trolls, I consider you guys over at Bitwave, believe it or not, I'm empowering you because you're not Nazis. You may be Ashkenazi, but you're the nice Ashkenazis who, who dislike things that are really bad, like greed. You see, there's a whole class of Ashkenazis that are willing to step away from greed. And you guys are the ones that are going to say, oh, yeah, we don't like Nazis. We like Jewish people. We don't like Ashkenazis. That's a big step in the right direction from, from my perspective. Once you make that move and you realize you're anti-Nazi, pro-Jewish people, you won't have any problems because Jewish people are inherently not evil or greedy. And anyone who thinks that is thinking about Ashkenazis who are not even Jewish. Oy vey, I'm, I'm getting very for clumps. But no, I'm not Jewish, I'm a Goyim. 
I'm one of those people that Jeffrey says, oh, you're one of those useless eaters. Actually, that was Prince Andrew. I get you two mixed up. You look alike, you know, you and Prince Andrew. You do. You do. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? Okay, so we're we're probably the star-studded chat room celebrity force on earth. We got Jeffrey Epstein and Prince Andrew in here. Anybody else who's a celebrity, please step up. All right. I keep running for president. I'm the dude that keeps running for president. Yeah, spread the word. And I'm the guy who did blackface. Okay, we're gonna flip those burgers again on level three. Beautiful. Okay, take your entire container. Oh, I didn't quite have a, a seal in here. Hang on. That'll do it. Okay, we're gonna pour this right down into the drain and leave it in there. See how it's sitting in the drain? Oh, you can't see that. Wow. Just drain it right in there. There you go. Drain all the water out. Every little bit. And leave the water in the sink. Now, if I was in uh, Mogadishu, I would probably have to uh, drink that water as my meal. Because believe me, that water has... Has good stuff in it. Okay, take your entire pan right here. Make sure you have a poke test done. Make sure everything's good. Everything's good. Everything's al dente. Perfect. Take that and just pour it right on top of all of the meat and everything. You're still at level three. And uh, we're done. That can sit on the stove for a good hour. It stays warm. And you can eat an hour later. Uh, we're not going to put it in the hair cutting bowl because the beef is already sitting in the pan. We're, we're going to go with. So we serve it right of the pan. You scoop the bottom of the pan with the onions, the mushrooms, and put those on top of the beef when you serve. Okay? And you take the potatoes, set them next to it. If you want to add butter, you can. You can also take whatever onions and mushrooms and put them on the potatoes too it's al dente that's right not not al, al dante that's correct i mispronounced it because i knew a guy named al dante i keep re, i keep completely mixing that up thank you el dante no this is not, i'm just kidding this is not uh, some case where i knew a guy named corn pop he was a bad dude and he hung with bad people I knew your dad. I knew Holloway. People want to laugh at some old guy who's blabbering. That's what's so sad. Our society has become consumed with nonsense. So some old guy blabbering, making no sense at all, is actually more interesting than Donald Trump running his mouth off, yelling at everybody, blaming everybody. So, I mean, it's a choice between one cognitive dissonance and another. <laughs> That's why I said that Joe Biden would be the best choice for the Democrats to uh, take on Trump. And I was right. Again, for the 50th time, I've been right. Hey, let's look at the final product. Now, you can turn this off if you want, but you can serve definitely three people with this. Oh, my God. Could I take this up to six people? Okay. Seven people. Wow. I don't know. Yes, you could serve seven people. For, yes, absolutely. You just have like a one third of the patty per person. No, let's go to six people at the very least. Okay. Yeah. So $7 for six. We have to make a concession somewhere in this. Okay. Hey, thanks everybody for coming in. I'm going to go run into the other room and get my uh, my tie from Australia, from the Outback on, and my coat, and we'll start the show.
I'm wearing my Bill Robinson shirt today. We're going to talk about technology, things that I'm sure you're very interested in. I am in default. Hello. Beep, beep. We'll talk about robotics and uh, the future of unmanned aerial vehicles in the hands of evil people that want to kill off all of the planet or 90% of the planet. Pretty weird stuff. All right. Take care. Good night.